What's good, gang? It's your boy, one to little Benz, back again with another reaction. And today, 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 we got Oliver Anthony with the song called I Want to Go Home. Now, you know what I'm saying? The first time I heard Oliver Anthony, now he pretty much, according to what I heard, he blew up overnight. I didn't even know, but you know what I'm saying? He really just, just now getting attention. I just, I generally did not know that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really, I'm kind of new to the country scene, to be honest. Part of the reason why I'm even discovering it is because of this man right here. I respect him, like, to the highest degree. It's kind of hard to not respect him. If you don't respect him, it's because you're one of those people he talked about who are the problem. You're, you're part of the problem. Lock in. Seriously. But, you know what I'm saying? I, I have high respect for him. I know he probably don't even know. He probably never will see this video. Probably won't. But... I just want to let it be known right now that I respect, I have so much respect for him. I became a fan after the one song. I don't become fans of artists after one song. Let, let that be known. I don't become an automatic fan after one song. It takes a couple to actually will me in. But he got my respect after only hearing one song. That's how good, that's how impactful that one song was. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just be real, bro. He talked about some life problems. He talked about America problems. Talk about problems that we're dealing with every day. His music is relatable. Let's be honest. But that ain't the point, though. If y'all enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. Comment, subscribe for more content like this. And if you're going to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, it's going to be scripted down below. I also heard he declined an $8 million deal. A lot of, I'm, let's be honest for a second. Even you watching right now, if, like, any, even, even the person watching right now, if you had an $8 million deal that was offered to you, would you not take that deal? Let's be honest. You wouldn't take the deal? I know personally, I would probably. It depends. It really just depends. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I want, I want, I want to be an artist anyways. Because I don't want to be in that kind of field. Because I don't know. People make it seem like being an artist is just funny games. But like, it's actually a serious thing. Like, it's actually serious. You gotta actually be grinding on your next... Like, you can't just... Wait up for like two, you can't lift up for like two seconds because you can fall off tomorrow. Seriously, artists be grinding every day and still fall off. That's just, that's a sad reality, but that ain't the point. Let's get into it. If it won't for my whole dog saying good lord, they'd have me strung up in the psych ward. Cause every day living in this new world, it's, one, but it. <laughs> This man said they had me, bro, they had him strung up in the psych ward because every day living in this world, bro, I can't even lie. Saying that is pretty crazy, bro. Can't, I can't even lie. Saying that's pretty crazy. You know what I'm saying? The world is so bad, it feels like I'm being tortured every day. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm walking around with these people. Some of these people are crazy. I can't even lie. On one side, on one side I'm grateful that I'm here. But on the other side, it's like, damn, bro. Did I have to be part of this generation? My generation is probably top five. Bro, just, just, just this era of life right now is pretty bad. I'm going to just keep it above. Just this era of life. Just this past three years. 2020 to 23. Terrible. I can't even lie. It seems like every year is getting worse and worse. 2020 was obviously poop. 2021 was still poop. 2022, okay, it's starting to get a little better. You know, they're not so bad. It's still pretty bad, but it's not so bad. 2023, doo doo water. Let's keep, in my opinion, I don't know. Maybe Arab, some other, somebody else might not feel that way. But in my, in my opinion, it's been pretty poop for these last three, four years. Just being, just being real. But we only gonna look, we only looking up for here. We can't just worry about what happened in, in the past. I consider the past yesterday and back. Everything that happened in the past is irrelevant because we already passed that point. We only looking for the present and we're looking for the future. We're working on what we can do right now to help enhance the future. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the only thing we're looking at now. It don't matter. Living in this new world. One, two, many days to me. Son, we're on the brink. Of the next world war and I don't We're on the break of the next world war, bro. No I ain't gonna lie. I, I hate to pause it again. I hate to pause it again. But 
him saying that we on the brink of World War, I ain't gonna cap. If we would have kept Trump, we would have been on World War Three. I'm gonna just be honest. He almost started when when he was in the office, bro. And people want this man back. People people talking about Trump 2024. I don't hate Trump, okay? I don't hate Trump. I don't hate Biden. Because at the end of the day, we got to live with whoever the president. It ain't gonna it ain't gonna change our lives unless they start a world war. That's when our lives is at jeopardy. That's really it. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, the, we have to worry about polices. But at this point in my life, I'm more concerned about going to the grocery store without and making the bet. That's what I'm. That's what I'm more concerned about right now. I'm not worried about no politics. I'm just worried about making it to Walmart and back in one piece. That's what I'm worried about. I'm just keeping a book. That's how dangerous this world is besides the politics. Just keeping a book. I ain't gonna lie. Nobody's praying no more and I ain't saying I know it for sure. I'm just down on my knees begging the Lord and take me home. I hold on. No, this man said, hold on. Whoa. Whoa, that's kind of dark right there. I can't even lie. That's kind of dark. That's a little dark. On one side, it's like, I can understand why he feels like that. On one side, I can, I, I can understand why he feels that way. You know what I'm saying? Because the world is so bad, it's like, dang, bro. Can I just meet? Can I just go up there with you, God? This can't be my life right now. This can't be the life that you chose for me. But, you know what I'm saying? The way I see it is, God put, put you through different tests. And whether if you pass or fail, you should always look into passing the test that he set for you. Always. I'm not, I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's, that's the way I look at life. I ain't gonna lie. But it is sad. People don't pray. People need to pray more. Only, people, only, people only pray. I hate to pause it again. I really hate to. But I have to say this too. I think it's off my chest. People actually only pray to God whenever they need help. They don't pray to God just to actually pray to God and thank Him. You know what I'm saying? That's that's bad. They need to really, they need to just, for once, stop trying to beg God to hand them stuff and just thank Him for what they already got in their hands. You know what I'm saying? For once, they need to do that. Take me home. I wanna go home. I don't know which road been so long I just know I didn't used to wake up feeling this way cussing myself every damn day there's always some kind of bill to pay people just doing what the rich man say I wanna go home people just do what the next man say bro it's facts it's a fact they don't have a mind of their own. They don't actually, you know what I'm saying, think for themselves. They just do what other people tell them to do. Four generations farming the ground. Grandson sells to a man out of town. Two weeks later, the trees go down. Only got concrete growing around. And I want to go home. I want to go Just know I didn't hear to wake up feeling this way. Cussing myself every damn day. People have really gone and lost their way. They all just do what the TV say. I want to go home. For my whole dogs and the good Lord They'd have me strung up in the psych ward Dang, bro. Can't even lie, bro. Can't even lie. He's speaking straight facts, though. He was speaking straight facts. No. Y'all pretty much know my thoughts, bro. I really got nothing else to really say. Y'all already know my thoughts. This song was amazing. You know what I'm saying? The song, it was a good song. 
You know what I'm saying? It was an amazing song. Obviously, the sad truth is a lot of a lot of the a lot of the people really feel like this world is so bad they would rather just just die. They would rather not be part of this world than to be part of this world fearing torture. You know what I'm saying? They feel like they go they going through pain. Whether if it's like the real world problems or not. Like here, here let me explain. So the real world problems affect homes, right? And the homes since the world since the world war problems like World War One and all this type of stuff and taxes and all this stuff, since it affects other people like parents and stuff, they have to spend less money. They don't have as much money to spend. They already work every day to still be broke after all the taxes and everything like that, all the bills they have to pay. You know what I'm saying? So then eventually it pretty much stresses the parents out and they sometimes take it out on their kids. And that's how some kids become, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say the word. Y'all use y'all imag use y'all imagination, okay? Let's be real. But you know, real world problems can really affect household, black, white, it don't matter what race. You know what I'm saying? Real world problems can actually affect families. And families problems Later on, start a whole cycle that's never going to end until somebody actually ends the cycle. But just remember, the whole cycle started, originated from the actual World War problem. Because a lot of, like, don't get me wrong, in some cases, the cycle started because one person, one, one person decided not to take care of their kid. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, in those cases, I wouldn't say it's the world's fault. I would say it's their fault. But you know, most of the time, I would, I would blame it on the government because the government make it hard for people to, to provide for their families. So at the same time, I want to blame the government for that too because they make it hard for families to provide for their own family. So if a dude and a female, act, if the dude actually get a female pregnant, the dude is most likely gonna probably leave because he don't want to have to deal with that kind of stress. So I, on the other side, it's like, I kind of have to blame it on the government too, on that situation too. So I don't know. It's a lot It's a lot of stuff. Like, it's crazy. If y'all enjoyed this video, go and give it a like, comment, subscribe for more content like this. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, it's gonna be description down below. I can't even lie, Oliver Anthony, bro, he was speaking straight facts, bro. Being part of this world is actually pretty, pretty difficult, especially around this time. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like it's harder than it was back then. Because I feel like back then they had more problems that they have now. And now we have more problems than we had back then. Honestly, here's, the, here's, some, here's some of the problems we have. I don't want to get canceled, but I'm going to just keep it real. Some of the problems we had back then was slavery. Or, you know what I'm saying? Race, black and white, black only white. You know what I'm saying? That that was one of the main problems we had back then. Don't get me wrong, it's still a problem now, but it's way bigger a big a bigger problem back then. But now, it's like we shifted away from the black and white narrative, which I'm finally glad we shifted away from that a little bit. We finally shifted a little bit, but it's like now. I don't want to say it, but I have to say it. LGBT and straight. Everybody has to be gay now. You can't just have you can't just be straight. I hate to say it, but everybody has to be gay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with them being gay. Because I believe if you want to be gay, that's on you. But not everyone has to be gay. Everybody should have their own mind. They shouldn't just be forced to be gay. They shouldn't be forced to. You know what I'm saying? That's that, I feel like that's a that's a big problem. I ain't gonna cap. That's a huge problem. People trying to force everybody, they, they're trying to force it to be like, engage just a, a, a godly thing, like the best thing in the world. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, at the end of the day, we're all human beings. It don't matter, black, white, gay, or straight. It don't matter, we, all, we are human beings, so it shouldn't matter. But yeah, I'm gone.